Okay guys, so we are back to playing some more Resident Evil 4. Sorry about the huge delay between parts 23 and this one right here, or part rather. Um, <laughs> pretty much what happened was uh, when I went through that door um, on uh, part 23, um, <laughs> I went through the door, and I pretty much said, like, oh, guys, hold on, I'll be right back. I need to go take a piss. And when I was going to the bathroom, I accidentally kicked the Dazzle, and, um, I don't know what happened. I don't know if something came loose or something, but, um, it pretty much, uh, kind of pulled an F you, and, uh, like, I only got the, the, like, I only got the footage of part 23, and the part where I was standing while I was taking a piss until I pulled the cord on accident. So now we're back, and, uh, you know, whatever. So let's shoot a rocket at these goddamn birds. I hope they're not like the fucking ones in the, at the very beginning, like Neo style, and dodging my shit. <laughs> oh, and by the way, so a little update for you guys in case you were wondering. You probably weren't, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. <laughs> um,. If you guys had been on my channel for the past few weeks, or maybe week rather, uh, you guys had probably seen that I had made a background for myself with a banner at the very top saying sponsored by GVA. Now, if you go to my channel now, uh, you guys probably will not see that, um, or rather you definitely will not see that, because uh, I was not accepted to GVA for one reason only, and that was because of the fact that I did not have an HD PVR and I have a Dazzle. Um, and apparently, new directors who want to go out for GVA need to have HD PVRs, which I think is bullshit. Um, and honestly, it's not that I can't buy a, G a GVA, uh, a PVR. I really could. I could buy it whenever I wanted to. The thing is, I really don't want to buy it because, um, honestly, I don't like the whole idea behind a non-profit, I mean, uh, a, uh, behind a YouTube channel who doesn't pay you for your expenses. I don't think that it's right for them to make you buy something that's not like, you know, $80 like a Dazzle, it's, you know, $200 like a PVR. I think that's kind of ludicrous, so, um... I'm, I'm just not buying it. Uh, I'm not gonna, you know... Thank you guys who said, you know, oh, if you go out for GVA, then we'll support you, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but we don't have to worry about that. Um, God, God damn it, Salazar, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to talk here. Well, probably half of you guys are like, Connor, you shut the fuck up. I'm trying to listen to what Salazar is saying. Who's the other? Yeah. They're an intruder besides me. Yeah, so this is like a new part. Because I definitely did not want to, like, kind of, like, try to play this part off as the one before. Because, like, probably I wouldn't remember what I had said last time. So I would have been like, bestiality is the best type of sex. And you guys would have been like, oh, where the fuck did that come from? Because I, I wouldn't have remembered um, where... Oh, oh, buddy! Oh, buddy! You thought you could sneak up on me? Yeah, guys, okay. So, if you guys have not noticed, we are in a hedge maze. Now, in this hedge maze... We are going to find two parts of a hole uh, that we can put into a door and open it. But the enemies that are in here are known as, what were they called? Colima Lullabubbles or something like that. They're pretty much wolves. Now, uh, we fought them when we were trying to save Ashley in the church. Um, this time around, uh, they, they got sexy ass tentacles, uh, like, you know, Japanese hentai kind of tentacles coming out of their backs if you, uh, if you don't kill them right away. And pretty much these dudes come out of cages, come out of bushes, run downstairs. These guys are the real deal. They're the full package. They're the bees and knees. So, I remember the first time I was playing through this part, uh, one of the one of the dogs or wolves, or I'm going to call them wolves, one of the wolves were uh, following me. And uh, he, they, it was pretty much following me till about... Um, oh my, the fuck, oh my god, no, Leon, what? Leon, you stupid motherfucker. I cannot believe you just, I can't believe I just did that. That was phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you, Leon, for making me shit myself. 
Yeah, so something very similar to that happened on my first time playing through, and I definitely turned off my game after that. <laughs> Alright, what's in this chest? Ooh! The red gem! Alright, okay. So now I know where all the gems are for the second elegant mask. I was really worried, because I was like, I remember where the purple gem is, I remember where the green gem is, but I don't remember where the red gem is. So now I remember where it is, because now I have it. Okay. <laughs> And I'm not going to go through everything in this hedge maze. I'm just going to go across pretty much anything that's directly, you know, in front of me, I guess. But, this is the left half of the Moonstone. We got both pieces. We can go unlock that door. But not before we get jumped by one, not one, two, not... Ugh! We get jumped by three and one dick, you know. Three regular wolves and one asshole. Oh, God. Alright, what's over here? I think this is, yep, TMP ammo. And how ironic, it has a wolf on the front of it. That's just awesome. Mm. Drink some water. Anyway. Oh, so. I was thinking about this. And I'm just, you know what, I'm just gonna leave. I don't really want to mess around with this hedge maze anymore. I was thinking about this. And, um... So I was thinking to myself, how can I incorporate? How can I oh, get? How can I incorporate Call of Duty into my channel? Since now I'm not going up on GVA, and I I came up with a pretty good idea. Now I've decided to use Call of Duty games as a new series, and that series is going to be called um, Story Time with RE4 for Life, or Personal Time with Connor, or uh, story fun time with Mr. RE4 for life. I don't I don't know what you want to call it. Put your hands where I can see. Oh shit, Leon, we we, we screwed the pooch, bro. Screwed the pooch. Put them up now. But no! The pooch has been re-screwed and now we go into slow motion hardcore action. Of course, of course, why not slow motion? Cause you know who who in their right mind? When they could just, you know, just do it in fast motion and stab the knife in their neck. Who wouldn't want to do slow motion, you know? <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm pretty much going to be starting a new series with, um... Uh, what's it called? That thing. Um, what? Oh, Call of Duty. And pretty much over that, I'm going to be talking about stories, right? Like, stories completely unrelated to the game. And I'm just going to be using that as a more personalized kind of thing. Um, to connect with you guys, but that's not important right now. So those are some pretty sexy sunglasses And you know right now right now the first time I played through it I was expecting like this uh, screen to pop up like right when those sunglasses exploded to be like Like be like Leon got fucked sneaky bitch had flashbang sunglasses Like like oh damn it Leon. I can't believe you just fell for that The oldest trick in the book you dumbass. No, I'm just kidding Mmm Incendiary grenade. Incendiary. Incendiary grenade. Excuse me. God, I sounded like a retard. Well, I am part retard. It's like I'm part English, part Turkish, and part idiot. Which one was it? Yeah, there we go. All right. So, pick up the mirror with pearls and rubies, I think that said. Ow! Oh, shit, I hit my foot. Female intruder. There seems to be... Uh, uh, I don't really care, honestly. I've read this like 50,000 times. If you guys really want to read it, just pause. Oh, and I noticed something really weird. So, my Dazzle, right? When I'm recording, like, um, older games, or by older, I mean, like, rather PS2 games, like, um, you know... Resident Evil 4, like, the writing is so clear, but, like, when I'm, like, recording on my Xbox, the writing is, like, complete ass cannon, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So, you know, I don't know, I might be sticking to my good old, good old PS2 guns, I might, I might do a walk, or, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do a walkthrough for Gears of War 1, 2, and 3 when 3 comes out, but I'm probably gonna be sticking to my Gears, or, Gears, um, like, rather older xbox games 
so like you know your condemns and your fears and your ps2 games because honestly guys I i'm gonna be completely truthful with you guys here i'm really into horror games and it seems that like the best horror games were on early days of xbox 360 and ps2 modern day horror games are absolute shitty mcaster so i don't know about you guys i don't know if you guys <laughs> share the same uh viewpoint as me but uh definitely in my opinion definitely ho the horror genre is going in a slope or slope downwards i think like the scariest game that i've played recently was like amnesia the dark descent uh yeah yeah that was that was pretty good i like that i played it at a buddy's house it was good yeah <laughs> i like that like dramatic pause like and i was on a buddy's house and uh it was good <laughs> God was like, let there be light, and they was like, oh, it was good. <laughs> oh, God. I actually remember the first time I, like, looked over the Bible, I was at a doctor's office. <laughs> and, um... Oh, shit, Snake, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't forget about that snake. Snake? 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 Mm. They drowned. Whoever's talking to Snake just got suffocated. Anyway. <laughs> so, um... Oh, yeah, by the way, if you shoot this lock, uh, you will come out to this part that I was kicking down the door to at the beginning, so just remember that. Anyway. Um... Oh, God damn it! I lost my train of thought. Whatever, when I remember, I'll talk about something else. Or, or I'll talk about that. Anyway... <laughs> Oh, God, so, um, I don't know if you guys have it or not, but the new Mortal Kombat game, um, God, that game is a bitch. I have been trying to defeat Shao Kahn, like, the last final battle Shao Kahn with Raiden, for the past, like, week, and I just haven't been able to do it. I'm, like, so desperate right now, I'm actually willing to give my, like, gamer tag away, <laughs> excuse me, gamer tag away for, like, someone to, like, beat it, and then I'll reclaim it. But oh shit, I should probably stop talking about um, gay, gay Mortal Kombat and focus on the real deal here. We got trapped in a goddamn cage with a motherfucking Garador. This is not good. And I remember, <laughs> I, I remember the first time I played through this part. I was like so pissed scared. And I was like so like ass cannon. Like, right? Like I was like doing... The ass cannon right there, and if you guys don't know what an ass cannon is, well, at least my definition of an ass cannon is where you le legitimately shoot the shit out of your ass so much that it's lethal and can kill somebody. So I was ass cannoning so much that I like, I like, pretty much. I remember I have my controller in my hand. I throw my controller. It disconnects. It goes flying behind me. I was playing on my bed, I dive off of my bed, like dive into my bookshelf where my PS2 was, and I like slap the power button, and I'm just like, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm just like looking at my PS2, like pointing my finger, and I'm just like, no, no. <laughs> uh, good times. I miss the days of the PS2, man. I mean, like, or rather, the days where the PS2 was, like, the main thing, you know what I mean? Like, back, back before you caught, uh, Call of Duty Black Cocks and whatnot like that. Because, honestly, let's be, let's be honest here. Who likes Black Cocks? Well, girls, I guess. 